welcome to Homebody. I am Felisa, your host for today's video. So I am about to give you a tour of this living room, but I'm going to do it a little bit different. But before I do that, I want to show you an item. If you're interested in seeing the item and the tour, just keep on watching. Okay, loves, I have a portable air conditioner. I love this portable air conditioner. We've already tried it out and whatnot. But I, I want to show you guys how to hook it up and what all came within the box. So as far as this being portable, you can use this if you're going camping, if you're going fishing, if you're going on a picnic, if you have an RV, you can use it in the outdoor space, which is what we did the other day. You can actually um, use it in your outdoor space if it's hot and really, really, really feel cool and relaxed. So I am going to have my husband to bring in the battery pack and he's going to show us how to connect it to the actual unit itself. Now this unit is very light because I can pick this up with no problem. However, once we add this battery pack to it, it becomes extremely heavy and you may want to get a gentleman to actually connect it to the battery and actually pack it for you. So my husband is going to go ahead and connect it to the actual battery pack and then he's going to go ahead and show us how to hook it up but I want to bring my camera in just a tad bit closer but before I do that let me tell you what it came with. So it came with a typical power pack which if you want to use it in your outdoor space and you don't want to use the battery you, you can actually use your power cord for your electricity and you plug this up to the unit itself. And then it also came with a charging card. If you're out and about camping or fishing, you can actually use this card to charge it with your cigarette lighter. And this, you would actually charge your, um, your battery actually. So let me undock my phone so I can actually let you see how to hook the battery pack up to the unit. You just connect that there. Then you just connect the other portion here, like so. And this is the same area that you would actually use the power cord if you're gonna use your electricity to run the unit. I also wanna share with you, it actually came with a tube that if you want to extend your air to another area from where you're sitting, you can connect that. For example, if you're camping and you have a tent, if you want to have this sitting outside your tent and you want to run your tubing inside, this will be outside your tent and you want to run your tubing inside, this would be perfect. Use it with or without the vent or the tubing. So we're going to close up our tubing and then we're going to show you how the power works. So we have a power button that we have to turn on from the battery itself. So now you heard that click. And then since we're talking about the battery, there are some areas down here where you can charge your phones and things like that, which is awesome. Especially if you're camping, you can charge your phones and things that need it charging. So let's go ahead and hit this power button here to turn it on. So you'll hear the fan for a maybe a minute or so, and then the fan will go off, and then the unit is nice and quiet. So you can barely hear the unit going but you this is a fan the fan speed my hubby just corrected me right so it has a high and it has a low and then we have the air conditioner over here you can control your temperature to go up and to go down and of course this is a power button and what I also love about this unit is it has a light if you want if you need light especially if you're camping at night so let me show you the light. I'll just, yeah. So now we've removed the vents with the tubing. And so we're gonna go ahead and turn on the light so you can see how, how it lights. So that's the lighting, which is awesome. That's like a LED light. Okay, loves, if the weather improves, improves here in Houston, we're gonna go on a picnic. And I'm gonna take this unit along with me and I'm gonna do a vlog to show y'all how easy, this, how easy this is to use 
and how awesome it is to use. I'm going to have a link down below just in case someone is interested in checking this out. So let me get on to the tour of this room. Oh, hi everyone. Welcome back to Homebody. I am Felisa, your host for this beautiful video. So in this video, I'm giving you a tour of my gold, silver, grayish fall living room tour. So I'm going to do this tour a little bit different. I'm going to walk you around the room and show you where the items are from instead of doing the music and showing the room first. I'm going to start with my coffee table. I'm going to bring my camera in just a tad bit closer so you can see the items that I have displayed on this beautiful fall coffee table setting. Okay, so I think you can see everything here. So this bushel of fall arrangements here, these are from Hobby Lobby. I've had, oh, I'm gonna knock stuff down. <laughs> I've had these for about five or six years. I have about, I think I have about maybe 10 bushels of these. I didn't see these at Hobby Lobby for fall this year. So this is a really, really cute bushel of arrangements to use for the fall. The vase is from Z Gallery. I think it's still available. You probably can get your hands on it. If so, I will place a link down below. These votive uh, candles are actually from Hobby Lobby. You can still get your hands on those, but Hobby Lobby doesn't allow us to link their items. So you're gonna have to go into Hobby Lobby and look for those candles. The candle holder is from Michaels. If it's still in stock, I will place the candle holder in the link below. Now, I'm gonna do a little closer up for you at the end of the video so you can see how beautiful everything is. My coffee table is from Rooms To Go. Then I have a gold pumpkin underneath this, on the second shelf. It's actually from Pier One. So let's move on to the beautiful display that I have here on my mantel and my fireplace. Okay, loves. So my actually fireplace is from Wayfair. I love it because it has a sleek, slim design for a small space. And as you can see, my living room is a small space, but I don't care. I just do everything with a bang. <laughs> small space, so what, right? <laughs> So, uh, slim, slender fireplace, and I have this gold and a grayish tone ginger jar from Home Goods. And these pumpkins here are, I think these are from Luminaire, the same place that I have a few of my candles from. But I didn't see them selling these this year. You can actually place batteries in these and they light up, but I don't have batteries in them. I'll place some batteries in there. I'll probably try to do a short video to show y'all how these look with the batteries. Now, the wall art is from Kirkland's. I've had for several years. It came in a set. I think it was like a hundred bucks or so for the set. My sconces on the wall are from Z Gallery, and the gold candles are from. I think those are actually from Home Goods that I purchased during the holiday time. And this actual floral arrangement here. The uh, floral picks that you see are actually from Hobby Lobby. The vase is actually from Z Gallery. And I placed some string lights in here so that you can, uh, I can cut this on at night. So I went ahead and cut my string lights on just so you can see how I have them in the arrangement. Okay, love, so now I'm on this side of the room. This beautiful wingback chair is from Wayfair. I'll place the link down below. And you can always shop this chair. I think I have this chair in my, in my YouTube store. You can click store and I have some items in the store. I have a bunch of Christmas items in there as well. So I have a couple of trees there. I have some ornaments, some ribbon. I have a reindeer. I have some uh, you know, decorative trees there that you can shop to get ready for Christmas. So um, the pillow, the pillow, the pillow is from On Cloud Nine. The my drapes are from Two Page Curtains. My wall art is from Home Goods. My lamps are from Home Goods. These beautiful squirrel candle holders are from Bath and Body Works. 
my other candles here are from Home Goods. And that's this side of the room. So let's move to the other side. Okay, love. So my mirror I've had here for since I've probably been on YouTube. <laughs> this mirror is from Dig Alley. I'm kind of wanting to change it out. Maybe put this one in my master and bring the one from my master in here. Maybe I'll do that for the holidays. I'm not sure. So the pillows, these are Amazon pillow covers that I just put some inserts in. And the other pillows here are actually from On Cloud 9. And I will place um, the link down if they're still available. And then I have a pumpkin here from Hobby Lobby. I think they have these in Hobby Lobby right now, but I've had this for a couple of years. So let's move on over to my entryway. So here's my entryway. As you enter into my home, the entryway is sitting over to my left. My living room is over to my right. So this vase is called an ellipse vase. You can get this vase from Z Gallery and it's in stock right now. I will place the link down below. The florals here are from Pier One. The candle holders, these are, it's a candle holder and a vase. These are from At Home, but you can get these from Z Gallery. And I think right now Z Gallery has them cheaper than At Home. I think Z Gallery may have like 30, 38 bucks. And I think this one may have been like 40 or something like that. The reason why I like these is because they're both the same size. And at Z Gallery, you have to get one small and one short. And I like the equivalency of that setting next to my, um, my ellipse vase. The stools, I'll place a link down below. You can get those from Amazon. And I have two aisles that I've had for many, many years. They are from At Home. And my wall art is from Home Goods. I do have a chain link vase over there in the corner. That vase is from CB2, and the sticks that's in it is from Home Goods.